Hello, what is up, my internet brethren? Uh, welcome, CPC Gamer, Namajim1, Citron Van, Galen Rayleigh, and Private Steve in the chat room. I am always Duke of the Bump, and this is VVVVVV. I, uh, I came pretty close to finishing the game in the last stream. I came closer than I thought I would. Well, uh, close to finishing it with all 20 trinkets. You could probably blow through the game in about an hour if you're not actually going after the trinkets. Uh, welcome Darian Mask. And I have to click in the window to activate the controller. Or the controls. I'm playing with the PS2 controller using the program Joy2Key. I will continue from my last save. Wow, did I really have 17 trinkets? I guess I must have. Because I deleted my last save. Yeah, this is where I ended the stream last time. How's the sound? Good? It sounds a little loud in my headphones, but it always does. And you guys say it's okay. I have a fanboy on me because it is hotter than usual today. So if that's an issue, just let me know. And I will, uh, uh the game's a little loud today. How's that? Any better? It's very difficult to judge the exact audio levels. Um, I mean, theoretically, what I hear in my headphones should be exactly what you guys are hearing, but uh, it doesn't always work out that way. Alright, uh, this is um, Wheeler's Wormhole, and uh, as I alluded to uh, in the last video, this is where the game starts to mess with your mind a little bit. No longer uh, is it totally linear from one screen to the next. You actually have, uh, you have parts of the game where the screen wraps around. Uh, let's see. There we go. So I will be uh, getting the last three trinkets that I need and finishing up the game. I figure that shouldn't take longer than uh, 30 minutes or so, depending on uh, how long it takes me to get past this area. Timing on this is actually kind of wonky. Because you can't land on the top platform there. Oh, right, I need to uh, type something in the chat room so I can sync it up later. Um, v, V, V. Etc. Okay. Oh, and uh, click back in the window to regain control. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. It shouldn't be that difficult. There we go. Oh, damn. I don't remember this part giving me any issues. There we go. At all the last time I played. And as you can see, instead of moving on to the next screen, it actually wraps around horizontally. But vertically, it does not. However, on this screen, it wraps vertically, but not horizontally. And, uh, it can be a little, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it can be a little disorienting. But, uh, once you get used to it, it's not that bad. And, uh, we are facing horrible killer triangles. Welcome to the chat room, the GTF. And, uh, Kostya, welcome. And Smarty Man. So, settle it once and for all. Should I say Smarty Man or just Smart Man? Is it just smart man with a double T, or should I pronounce it smarty? I don't know. You have to help me out here, people. And uh, Galen O'Reilly, I've just been guessing on the pronunciation of your screen name as well. So, uh, if that's not correct, then uh, set me straight. Evil's off. Welcome. Just do smart. It's easier. Okay. That I can do. I am so smart. SMRT. I mean S M A R T. Speaking of The Simpsons, I recently found my uh, external hard drive that has every episode of The Simpsons from season one through like season nineteen or something. It's not an up-to-date archive, but uh, I'm not really interested in watching episodes of The Simpsons past season nine. And. Uh, it's been great going back and revisiting the old episodes, you know. I pretty much watch the entire archive of The Simpsons, you know, every every couple years or so. I've always gotten it right. Oh, Galen, really? Okay, good. 
And, uh, yeah, I mean, that is, that show really holds up. It is my favorite television program, and, uh, as far as I'm concerned, there will never be a funnier show. A giant cube with the word avoid on it. These security measures go too far. I agree. I don't even know what these security measures are trying to protect against. The only bad thing about my uh, Simpsons collection is that it is all uh, television rips. They're not actual DVD rips because it was actually compiled before all the seasons were out on DVD. So they're like syndication cuts, which is unfortunate. I really wish they would just release a box set of like the first 10 seasons of The Simpsons or so for, for a reasonable price. I mean, I actually added it up on Amazon and buy all 10 seasons or well, all 10 seasons of The Simpsons that I want. Well, really the first nine, but I made it 10 just for a nice round number. It would have cost me like 250 bucks, which is uh, a little more than I'm willing, willing to spend. A lot more than, than I'm willing to spend. Uh, welcome to the chat room, Harlequina. Or Harlequina. Harlequina. Uh, this drink is actually a little bit tricky. Um, it took me a little while to figure out how to do this one. Um, I thought it was all about just uh, timing it, and you have to go all in one go. Like, you have to start at just the right moment and uh, go fast enough that you can actually get there. But what you actually have to do is uh, a little a little trickery here. You have to... Basically, you have to um, go flip back and forth a couple times to avoid being eaten by the uh, the radioactive Pac-Man. And it's easier to, uh, to show it than explain how it's done. You have to... Uh, well, I'm not doing it nearly quick enough. I suggest Final Fantasy. For what? Oh, I've been trying to find a good post-apocalypse RPG. RPG is in D&D, not Final Fantasy. Um, well, uh, I've never actually played a post-apocalyptic pen and paper RPG. I understand that someone uh, made a fan version or a fan game out of the Fallout series. You can probably, probably find that online somewhere. There we go. That's what you have to do, and I fucked it up after the initial attempt, but uh, that's the basic gist of it. Then you have to do the same thing over on the other side, and uh, it, it's kind of like uh, like Vini Vidi Vici, where you just kind of have to, you know, it's muscle memory. Uh, not nearly as hard as Vini Vidi Vici, of course. I actually struggled with this one for a pretty good amount of time before I uh, before I got it. Oops. There we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad. 18 out of 20. Uh, welcome, Messiah Chan and Kisk79 to the chat room. And quicker to just to just die than try to actually make your way back. Did I read that? No. The only way into my private lab anymore is my teleporter. Well, I aim to gain access to that laboratory. Shit is really blowing my mind, man. You have to stand on this and then go down that way and yeah. From this point, it's really, I mean, it's really hard to describe what's actually going on on the screen. It's kind of like Braid. It's really hard to describe what you're actually doing in Braid, and it's hard to like... Like, if I were to teach someone how to play Braid, like, I wouldn't really know how to put it into words. Most of the mechanics in the game. Well, a lot of the mechanics of the game. Um, but, I mean, the game still teaches you beautifully how all the mechanics work. I mean, really, Braid gets a lot of, uh... You know, it gets a lot of shit for being, like, pretentious and Jonathan Blow gets a lot of shit for being like super pretentious arty video game guy but I'd say the real you know the real success of Braid is how it taught you really abstract game mechanics like uh, Portal does the same thing 
And, you know, to a lesser extent, this game kind of does it, but... It's not nearly as hard to grasp as the mechanics in Braid. I mean, not, not that the mechanics in Braid are hard to grasp, but, uh, you know, it takes a little figuring out. Uh, welcome Type Owl to the chat room. I believe you actually fall at exactly the same rate as these hearts, so really it's just about timing it with these other three hearts. Damn. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Have I played The Misadventures of PB Winterbottom? Uh, no, I've heard of it though. It's another one of those really abstract uh, puzzle games, from what I understand. It has a mechanic of, like, duplicating yourself and having the duplicates, like, accomplish tasks in the game, I believe. I think I played a Flash game that was similar to it at one point. Oh, hi! I'm here to rescue you. Uh, Melkadrian, welcome. I play a 7th edition Gamma World campaign. Yeah, I guess it's 7th edition. Um, it's basically the 4th edition D&D rules, but, um... Oh yeah, I guess Gamma World is post-apocalyptic, but, um... I don't know, I consider it more silly. Like, it's silly sci-fi more than post-apocalypse. Like, I, I wouldn't put it in the same category as, like, a Fallout or a, uh... You know, Mad Max, that, that kind of situ situation. Although, um, you can easily adapt the Gamma World rules to that. Uh, New New, welcome. But, you know, I kind of have a, uh, a love-hate relationship with, uh, 4th edition D&D and 7th edition Gamma World. Like, the combat's fun, um, but, I don't know, maybe it's just the specific games that I'm playing in, but, uh, they don't really include a ton of role-playing. Like, uh, I wouldn't put them in the same category as, like, a White Wolf game or something. You can slap D&D rules onto whatever whatever the hell you want, says CPC Gamer. My last D&D game was the Candyland board game. Wow. That sounds pretty good. I would play that. Murdering Twin Maker. Well, that sounds... Sounds like exactly what I want. Uh, S.A. Donnie, welcome. Does the S.A. in your name stand for something awful? Because I noticed that a lot of goons tend to do that. They uh, append SA to their name to indicate that they're from something awful. I used to post on the uh, Let's Play sub forum, but uh, I don't know. They uh, they're a little too strict there for my tastes as far as uh, quality goes. I mean, I res I respect the hell out of a lot of guys on the sub forum, but um. I don't know. I, I found a home on uh, YouTube and, and Twitch more easily than in, on SA. You know, maybe I should have gotten the uh, the last trinkets before I actually came here. Wow, only 573 death. That's not bad compared to my last playthrough. Oh well, let's uh, go ahead and play through this and then I can always get the uh, the last trinkets later if I want. And in the last area of the game, it kind of, uh... It kind of uses all the mechanics you've learned up to this point. Like, it uses the, uh, the screen wraparound, and the, uh, the bouncers. Rewatched the Lost Vikings LP two days ago. Wow. That's a long LP to, to just, uh, casually rewatch like that. Yes, uh, around 450 of those deaths were in Vini Vini Vici. Uh, Chaotic Harmony, welcome to the chat room. I just got a, uh, I got a comment on, uh, on the Lost Vikings LP today. Um, quoting a joke that Anaconda Rifle made. Um, about being able to block everything with your shield. But apparently not, since you have two kids. I wish I was as funny as that dude, man. I haven't talked to him in a while, but, uh... I mean, he really, he really made that LP. I mean, me and Mike have a good dynamic, but, um, we need a, uh, a foil, and he made a very good foil for that. Damn! 
hope he's doing okay wherever he is. Oops. Shit. Wait, who just joined? Um... Oblivix, welcome. Yes, you can get a shout out. That's the, uh... That's the, uh... That's what you get when you come to my streams. One free shout out for everybody. At least until I really blow up and I get so popular that I have thousands of people in the chat room at once. Then I'll, then I'll hire lackeys to do the shout outs for me. Because I'll be raking in billions of dollars with my Twitch and YouTube cash. Doesn't Snake Gun keep showing up in here? Uh, if he does, I haven't seen him. Or he's using a different name. I don't know, has someone has someone named Snake Gun joined the chat room? Because it might be somebody else with a similar name. Uh, Perigo, or Perigot, I think you said, is how it's pronounced, the non-French way. Any hope for the Lost Vikings 2 LP with Mike? Well, see, the problem with Lost Vikings 2 is that you can't play a 3-player. And to me, that's what the real charm of the Lost Vikings LP was. Was that, uh, you know, you, you actually have a different person controlling all three characters. And you can play Lost Vikings 2 2-player, but, uh, it's kind of awkward, uh, you know, determining who's playing which character at which time and, you know, when you switch off. Now, as far as I can tell, I don't think there's a reason to actually go in- oh yeah, I remember. There's no reason- see, the first time I played, I went in the middle instead of going on the outside because I thought, oh hey, there must be something good over there when you go via the middle path. But it actually takes you exactly the same way. It's just when you're coming back, the middle path is all that's available. I'm sure to someone turned up in the last couple of streams and loads of people went, oh man, it's on Anaconda Rifle. Uh, I don't recall that. Somebody named, uh... uh I forget his name, but someone, people said, was like a famous LPR showed up in my chat room the other day. I don't think I've seen Anaconda Rifle. I mean, if he showed up, then you know, I apologize, but uh, I don't really recall that. This is actually kind of tricky. Um, matching up your speed with these blocks in exactly the right way to uh, in exactly the right way to cross over the middle barrier there. It took me uh, a few tries to actually get it. You kind of have to do uh, trial and error. How many secrets do I have? I have eight, 18 out of the 20 trinkets. Uh, yes, 18 out of 20. I like how it actually uses the word for the number of trinkets you have instead of just the number. The numeral is 18 out of 20. I don't know, little touches like that that, uh, that I appreciate. So anyway, I've been watching The Simpsons, um, just a, an episode here and there. What I do is I load up random.org, the, uh, the online random number generator. The same thing I was using for the, the random game generator. And I, uh, I put in 1 through 9 to pick a season. And then I pick 1 through 26 to pick an episode. Because there are 26... It's either 23 or 26, I don't know, I've been doing 26. But, uh, and then whatever comes up, I just watch that one. It's like, uh, you know, it's like I'm actually watching it on television. It's a surprise. Now, as far as I know, my local Fox Syndicate still plays The Simpsons daily. Because, I mean, they played, like, a couple old episodes of The Simpsons every day for, like, the past ten years. But I don't really get over the episode or over the air uh, TV signals very well. Oh, yeah, Noofy, Noofy Banga. That, that was a dude's name. I should do RCG again sometime. Uh, where's that RGG? RGG, retro game, oh, random game generator. Yeah, uh, I don't know, it was kind of fun. I mean, unfortunately, the ratio of good games to crap on the old consoles is just way too high. But I mean, th that's kind of the appeal of the random game generator too, is that eventually I get a crappy game and I just kind of have to deal with it. What do you have to say for yourself? Dimensional stability generator. That sounds good.
thing I'm worried about 7th edition Gamma World is that it seems like you get to 10th level really quickly. Well, you just have to uh, make sure you kill the characters a few times first. <laughs> it's like that with all consoles. For every TF2, there's a million Halos, Duke Nukem Forevers, or Brinks. I actually don't like Team Fortress 2 either. But that's just my, uh, my iffy relationship with online games. But yeah, I mean, CPC Gamer has a point. I mean, the ratio of good games to bad is not good on any console. Notice how uh, we're getting a mix of previous areas that doesn't necessarily match the order that, uh, that we arrived here in. The whole dimension is just totally destabilizing now. I don't know why I have so, ma so many issues with the timing on this. Uh, welcome, Slashy. Should I get this game? Yes, it, it is excellent. I think it's ten dollars on Steam. I think, well worth it in my opinion. I picked it up in one of the uh, in one of the humble bundles, but uh, I would have paid ten dollars for this game. I mean, it's not the longest game in the world, but uh, that doesn't really bother me. I was never one of those guys who's like every game needs to be eighty hours long, or I don't get my money's worth. I think that's kind of a kind of a crappy thing, crappy way of looking at it. Uh, Ultra Kirby 64, welcome. What about Call of Duties? Do I like Call of Duty? No. If that's what you're asking. I don't really like realistic first-person sh first-person shooters. Like I have no interest in playing an army man, unless it's a space marine. That's the only kind of marine I want to play. But if there aren't some aliens or robots or zombies or something to kill, I'm not really interested. I, I mean, you know, Team Fortress 2 isn't really realistic. It's, you know, super cartoony, but that, that's not why I didn't care for it. Now, if Team Fortress 2 had an offline mode, then, uh, then I would... I might give it a shot. What happened with Brimstone? You mean the Binding of Isaac item? Because I still have not gotten Brimstone. Funnily, funnily enough. I think I have to get it eventually if I want to get the uh, the Golden God achievement. Because I'm really close to getting Golden God. I've, uh, I've beaten Sheol with every character except for uh, Samson. And I don't think beating it with Samson actually uh, unlocks anything. But, uh... I mean, there are a few more items I have to actually get in the course of the game. Why? Why is this so difficult? I don't, I don't understand what my, what my issue is. I was doing those last areas. I mean, I looked like a badass, but now, now I'm embarrassing myself. I think I just need to land on that platform. I'm pretty sure uh, it's low enough that I won't get hit by uh, hit by the uh, the one on top. Oh, there we go. Okay. How's beating the cathedral with everyone going? Well, the plan is for me to do that part actually on stream. I've been going through Sheol just to do it um, in my own time, and then when I start streaming the Binding of Isaac again, since I've, uh, you know, since I've technically, I mean technically I've, uh, well, now that the expansion is out, then uh, that's all there is for me to do. There's uh, going through the cathedral with every character and then doing the challenges, and uh, that's what I plan to stream. Uh, welcome Paradox Zero. I need to make my chat window bigger here so I can see more of what people are saying. Beating with Samson actually does unlock something. Well, I guess I need to go through and do that. Have I done Shield with every character? Uh, everyone except Samson. I, uh, I just beat it with the blue baby the other day, which was super hard. I, w I, wouldn't, I would've never been able to do it if I uh, didn't get super lucky with, with the soul hearts. Yeah, oh, the cathedral? Yeah, I've only done the cathedral with Isaac. So I still have, uh, five other characters I need to do that with. Oh, and I beat the first challenge. Um, there are ten challenges, and the first one is, uh, Dark is the Night. And all that one is, is beating the game without any maps on any, on any of the levels. You have the, uh, the Darkness Curse on every single level. 
And I figured that wouldn't have been very interesting to watch, since it's just like the regular game, except no map, so... I, I just kind of blew through that one with Isaac. Since for the challenges, you don't have to beat Sheol or the Cathedral or anything, you just have to beat... You know, it lives. Do I watch Northern Lions LP of the Binding of Isaac? Nope, never heard of him. I was watching a stream of some dude, Man vs. Game, I think I talked about it, and uh... It wasn't bad, but uh, he talked a lot before he actually started playing the game. Like, he just... He, he's one of those dudes who puts the uh, the webcam on himself while he plays, which I, I don't really understand. I mean, I don't need to stare at some dude while I'm watching him play the game. And uh, he just kind of rambled for like half an hour. Which, you know, I ramble too, but when I ramble, I'm actually playing the game most of the time. But it was crazy, he had like... You know, 2,000 people watching him at once or something. And this is the tower, but now we have to go through in reverse. Or it might not be the... Actually, I don't think it's the tower exactly, but uh, sim it's a similar mechanic. Oh shit. That was weird. I don't remember it stopping like that. Damn. Panic room. I saw someone play Isaac and they got Technology 1 and 2 and they were on both eyes. Wow. You know, ever since uh, Wrath of the Lamb came out, I still haven't found Technology 1. I, I found Technology 2 a bunch, but uh, I haven't gotten Technology 1 again. Which is why uh, I assume that, uh, oh shit, I have to do that faster than, than I did. Which is why I assume that uh, Technology 2 just replaced Technology 1. But apparently they're both still in the game. Which is interesting. Oh, damn. That was close. Oh, shit. A uh, corgi in a tofat. Welcome. I approve of your name since, since Welsh corgis are pretty much the best dog. I mean, I'm not really a pet person. I like cats and dogs, but I, I don't own any. But, uh, if I ever bought a dog, it would probably be, or adopted a dog, it would probably be a Welsh Corgi. Jesus juice every run as well. Yeah, Jesus juice shows up like every single playthrough. It's weird. I be mom the first time with Tech 1. Yeah, technology, either whether it's 1 or 2, it's awesome. Especially if you also get uh, the mulligan. Technology just stacks so well with the mulligan. Oh, and uh, I got a really broken combo. Um, other people have discovered this, obviously. But if you get the uh, the habit, the the nun habit, it recharges whatever your activated item is every time you get hit. And if you can get that with the yum heart, it basically makes you invincible. Because every time you get hit, it recharges at once or halfway. And every time it recharges, you can use it to, uh, to get a whole heart of health back. So uh, up until uh, the womb, you know, because once you hit the womb, everything starts doing a full heart worth of damage to you. Um, up until the womb, every time you get hit twice, you can just use the yum heart. It's pretty awesome. All right, I'm gonna have to be a lot smoother about this than I have been. Oh damn. Uh, the great M. Uh, welcome to the chat room. This is weird, this is one of the only places, um, where the checkpoint is actually instant death if you don't immediately start moving. But I guess this and the tower are the only two places. If I remember correctly, this area gave me a little bit of trouble as well. Great M is a friend of mine. Oh, well, welcome. Any friend of Nama Gems is a friend of mine. In theory. Greetings from Denmark. Wow. What time is it in Denmark? 
I love how you give a shout out to every new person joining. Well, that's my trademark. That's how I, uh, that's how I bring in the eyeballs. And again, once I get super popular, then I'll need an intern to start handling the shout outs for me. Because, you know, it's just a matter of time before Twitch offers me, uh, a six figure contract. I figure. Damn! Uh, Oriental Junior, welcome. I might have to, uh, stop paying attention to the chat for a minute since this area is giving me so much trouble. Uh, Pika Buster, welcome. Ah, there we go. He doesn't seem like a jerk to me. It's an intern now, it, it was paid before. Well, it's a paid internship, you know. I mean, I can't pay minimum wage for that kind of shit. I'm not, you know, a high roller. But I will be. I unsubbed him when that happened. Wait, who? Who are you talking about? Oh, Ultra J Man? Um. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm still pals with Ultra J Man. <clears throat> I've never witnessed any jerk-like behavior from them. I mean, there was that whole thing with, uh, with what's-his-name, uh, from the SA forums, uh, Shilkrote, but, uh, I don't, I don't actually know what happened with that. That's another reason I, uh, I kind of stopped doing the, uh, the something awful stuff. Just too much drama on, on those boards, man. But, you know, that describes something awful in general, not just the LP sub form. Game complete, wow. Well, damn. I'm missing one trinket. I'll have to go back and get that, and then get the true ending of the game. Yeah, Ultra J-Man's luck is unbelievable when it comes to the Binding of Icy. The SA Goon thing really saps the fun out of it. Yeah, it can. And I mean, like I said, there are a ton of people on SA that I, I respect and, you know, I love their LPs. But, um, just the general atmosphere of the, of the boards were just too hostile for me. I mean, in all fairness, some of the quote-unquote LPs that I posted to something awful early on were just truly awful. No, uh, no pun intended, but, uh... I unsubbed TB because he went that route. Total Biscuit? He's always been on something awful as far as I know. I loved his uh, Shining Force 3 LP. I wish he, wish he finished that one. Total Biscuit isn't a fan of LPs, even his own. I love your voice. Wow, I don't get it, but uh, thank you. Too bad my final video of Splatterhouse 2 got deleted as well. Did it? I thought I I thought I uploaded that one to YouTube once I no longer had the uh, the 10 minute limit. Oh well, if not, you're not really missing much. And roll credits. You can kind of uh, just quickly scroll through these here. All right. Well, oh yeah, you're, you're treated to a nice little piece of art at the end of the game. If I remember correctly, this is actually by drawn by uh, Madame Luna famous in the, uh, the LP or circle. The other game that Duke was playing. Uh, I was playing Binding of Isaac and I was playing Bastion. Oh, Potful Mail. Yeah, uh, I'll get back to it eventually. Oh, 
I love how happy they look. It's really excellent. And you pretty much have uh, free reign over the world at this point. Um, you know, all my trinkets are still here. And I'm just missing this one. So I will go and grab that real quick and show off the true ending of the game. And then I will uh, fire up Binding of Isaac. And the last trinket is down there at the bottom of the screen, which uh, should be pretty easy to get to. I just need to, to teleport down to the teleporter. Oh, uh, Pokesmot 420, well, I mean Josh. I mean Sean. I mean uh, Clancy. Welcome, Clancy. Actually, what this teleporter up at the top would probably be easier. Because the one down there actually doesn't have a direct route to the trinket I am uh, going after. Yeah, that, that'll be your gimmick, Pokesmot. Every stream, you will have a new name. Norm, Donald, Norm McDonald, whatevs. Man, I don't know how I missed this the first time around. I guess I just wasn't paying that much attention. 20 out of 20. And uh, now that we have the last trinket, we just teleport back to the ship, and uh, Violet will take care of the rest, hopefully. Zack the Lego Maniac. Not familiar with him. Ah, look at all those shinies. So satisfying. Alright, Violet, what you got for me? I sure did. We were just playing with the shiny things. Oh shit, they're trapped. What will they do? Wow. I'm gonna play as that guy. <laughs> it appears to be a laboratory. And this is the secret lab, the area that showed up on our map way at the beginning of the game that uh, we weren't able to get to. Now we are here. We finally have enough research to stabilize our dimension. Good ending get. We have the uh, the trophy room. The only trophy that I have is one for completing the game, and I'm probably not going to get the rest of these. Complete the game in flip mode. That's a mode where the entire game is flipped, uh, flipped on the uh, the horizontal axis, so you know everything is reversed. Last five seconds on the super gravitron. 10, 15, 20, etc. Last a full minute. Not going to happen. Win with less than 50 deaths. Less than 100. Less than 500. Uh, and then time trials, not really interested. And complete the game in no death mode. No thanks! Uh, the Super Gravitron is just a, uh, a fancy hard version of, uh, of something from earlier in the game. You remember this? My best time with no deaths is uh, 3 minutes and 73 seconds, which really is not that impressive. 
Oh wait, no, that's that's four. That's four seconds. Four point eight three seconds. <laughs> yeah, three minutes would actually be pretty impressive. Let's see if I can get the five second one. Oh, yes, sweet. Just for shits and giggles. Okay, I'm done. That is uh, enough. Enough Super Gravitron for me. Was there actually a trophy for five seconds? I think there was. No? Oh yeah, there it is. Last five seconds on the Super Gravitron. Excellent. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's time trials, there's a Super Gravitron. Uh, you can't access the time, time trial from here, you have to go back to the main menu. Uh, my username on YouTube is Mashuren. M-A-S-H-U-R-E-N. I chose the name before I decided to be Duke of the Bump. Yes, my username is CPC Gamer. CPC Gamer is actually me, little known fact. Alright, well, I guess I'm done here. Uh, let me. I don't get your motto. What's my motto? I, I don't know what motto you're talking about. Oh, using computers to stream video games. Well, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm playing video games on a computer, and it is a stream going off, going over the internet. Alright, I'm going to cut the feed just to make splitting up the video easier later. And I will be back in a few seconds with Binding of Isaac. So, see you in a few.